All right, in this uh, video, I'm going to go through how we can find the pH of a base. Keeping in mind, I talked about how if hydroxide is introduced into a solution, it will react with the available hydronium and reform into water. So by adding hydroxide, I naturally reduce the population of hydronium in a solution. So we can still define how strong a base is based on pH because there's a definite relationship between how much hydroxide and hydronium there is. The more hydroxide, the less hydronium. So by seeing the hydronium population go down, we can recognize that that must be related to an increase in the hydroxide population. So the mathematical relationship that works out here is that the pH plus the pOH of a substance is always equal to 14. We can go through later how exactly that mathematical relationship works out, but it really doesn't make sense at this point. This, uh, this video I'm thinking of grade 11 class, and um, in grade 12 we'll study equilibrium, so we'll study how this actual relationship comes out. At any rate, we should view pOH as the same thing as pH, so it's the negative log of the hydroxide con uh, concentration, or we can get the hydroxide concentration by doing 10 to the negative pOH. You're just gonna have to trust me on that relationship for right now. So let's look at a couple examples and see how to do this. How much sodium hydroxide needs to be added to 500 milliliters of water to make the pH 10.5? So again, sodium hydroxide is a base. So it's not gonna be useful to think of the actual hydronium population. Instead, I wanna convert that into a hydroxide population. So if my pH is 10.5 and my pH plus pOH has to be 14, then 10.5 plus pOH is 14 and so pOH is 3.5. With that in hand, I can go ahead and find my concentration of hydroxide. Again, 10 to the negative pOH, so this means 10 to the negative 3.5. So just putting that into a calculator, I get 3.16 times 10 to the negative 4. So that's my concentration. I have a volume, so I can go ahead and find how many moles of solute would be associated with that. Concentration equals moles over volume. So 3.16 times 10 to the negative 4 moles over 0 0.5 liters. So I have 1.58 times 10 to the negative 4 moles. And now I can consider my reaction. So sodium hydroxide reacts to disassociate and form sodium and the hydroxide ion. And they're in a one to one ratio. So that means if I have this many moles of so hydroxide, then I have the same amount of sodium hydroxide. So my moles of sodium hydroxide are also 1.58 times 10 to the negative four. Now I can actually get the mass. I think it asked it for mass. It says how much, so I'm going to assume they want mass. So my molar mass for sodium hydroxide is 23 grams per mole plus 1 gram per mole. That's from the hydrogen plus 16 grams per mole from the oxygen, and that works out to 40 grams per mole. So moles equals mass over molar mass. So 1.58 times 10 to the negative four is equal to the mass divided by 40 grams per mole. So my mass here that I would need is 6.32 times 10 to the negative three grams. So not very much at all. Um, we'll do one more here where we work the other way. We'll have a pH. Um, 
what is the pH of 0 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide? And we'll, we'll, so we have a concentration of our base here, and we'll work our way over to the pH. So again, sodium hydroxide disassociates into sodium and hydroxide in a one-to-one -one relationship. So if my concentration of sodium hydroxide is 0.2 molar, then my concentration of hydroxide will also be 0.2 molar. So that means my pOH would be equal to negative log 0 0.2, which is 0 0.699. And then if I recognize that my pH plus my pOH is equal to 14, if um, my pOH is 0 0.699, Six nine nine. Then my pH is going to work out to be thirteen point three. So when I'm working with bases, I can find pOH, or I can use pOH just the same way as I was using pH. Then, if I recognize that my pH plus my pOH has to be fourteen. I can convert that over to a pH as necessary. Or if I'm given a pH, I can convert it over to a pOH as necessary. This all works because, um, again, that relationship between the hydroxide and hydronium concentration. As you add hydronium, it'll work, it'll react away the hydroxide and lower its population, or alternatively, if you put OH in, it's going to take the H3O out, so they have a relationship, and that's what's stated in that relationship.